So the most common symptoms of temporomandibular disorder, also known as TMD, are usually pain or tension or burning sensation around the jaw, the ears and the temples. Uh, a clicking, popping or grinding noises while moving the jaw, for example, while you eat, speak, laugh on your own, a constant headache around the temples, especially in the morning, uh, difficulty in opening uh, your jaw and jaw locking when opening the mouth. Now, these symptoms can be present all at the same time or just some of them at the same time. But one uh, symptoms that can significantly affect the patient quality of life is uh, tinnitus, which is basically a ringing or buzzing noise that come from inside the ears. And uh, there is a significant prevalence of tinnitus uh, in the patient suffering from TMD. In fact, only about 12% of the general population suffer from it, while about 42-45% of patients with TMD suffer from it. So there is a quite a strong link between the TMD and the ringing of the ears. Uh, the kind of patient the pain the patient can expect, the patient uh, uh, can experience a, a different kind of pain. He can experience a constant, dull, generalized ache or a localized sharp shooting pain, a kind of uh, nerve pain. So TMD can be caused by teeth grinding or and or teeth clenching, wear and tear of the temporomandibular joints, a blow to the head or the face, stress or an uneven bite. So it is of primary importance to assess patient symptoms in details. See when did they start, the area of interest, if patient has tinnitus, if it, uh, what kind of pain they're experiencing, if it is a dull ache, a sharp shooting pain, and the intensity of the pain. Then uh, after a appropriate uh, uh, recording of the patient symptoms, so then the clinician should proceed with a palpation of the muscle of the face, of the jaw and the neck to see if they are sore and they are painful upon palpation. Uh, also the clinician must check for unusual movement of the bow, of the mouth, of the mandible and the mouth opening as this is very restricted during TMD. Uh, also, we have to check for sign of grinding and clenching, like, for example, worn or chipped or fractured teeth, and check for clicking, grinding, or popping of the, of the temporomandibular joints. So, TMD symptoms can vary from a mild discomfort to a constant, extremely severe pain that can negatively affect the patient's quality of life. TMD can seriously affect someone's mood to the point to cause severe anxiety and depression and prevent the patient from enjoying the most simple activities, such as talking, eating, or laughing. Uh, these symptoms can uh, change from patient to patient, but also can change uh, in the same patient throughout the patient life. And uh, yes, it is possible to treat chronic TMD. I, for example, I was able to treat case chronic TMD uh, of, uh, of patients suffering from these symptoms for over 20 years. However, the longer someone had TMD, the more challenging it might be to treat it. Therefore, I recommend anyone who suffers from these symptoms to see a specialist in the TMG, which is usually a dentist who is specialized in prosthodontics, as soon as I experience these symptoms, because they would be, they, they, this condition might be easier to treat if uh, uh, diagnosed on time. So we could actually discuss for hours about that. And uh, as all patients suffering from TMD know too well, there are countless treatment for TMD. After an online search, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, several healthcare professionals propose very different treatment for TMD, from acupuncture to tense machine, physiotherapy, surgery, Botox injection, and the list goes on and on forever. 
The most important thing when it comes to TMD is to make an accurate diagnosis as this condition can have multiple causes and each cause can cause a different pattern of pain and each cause must be treated with an appropriate treatment. For example, if TMD is caused by teeth grinding and clenching, the, patient, the pain the patient experience is more likely to, to, to be a constant dull ache on facial muscle with chronic headache. In this case, the best course of action, it would be to proceed with uh, physiotherapy and wearing a splint at night. But for example, if the TMD is caused by arthritis, then the pain is more like a sharp shooting pain localized on the TMJs and physiotherapy or splint might not be that helpful, for example. So making an appropriate diagnosis is the first step toward an effective and safe treatment.